We're going to simplify the following expressions completely. The first expression is z raised to the power of one-half raised to the power of six. To simplify the expression, we use the power property of exponents shown here, where a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So if we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents, which means z to the one-half raised to the sixth power is equal to z raised to the power of one-half times six. To find the product, let's write six as a fraction with the denominator of one, and notice how we can simplify before multiplying because two and six share a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two, and three twos and six. Notice how the product is now just one times three, which equals three, and therefore the expression simplifies to z raised to the power of three, or z cubed. Next we have a raised to the power of five halves, raised to the power of one-fifth, applying the power property of exponents. This is equal to a raised to the power of five halves, times one-fifth. Again, we can simplify before multiplying. There's a common factor of five between the numerator and denominator. There's one five and five here, as well as here. So now the product is just one-half times one, which equals one-half, and therefore the expression simplifies to a raised to the power of one-half. In our last example, we have four raised to the power of one-third raised to the ninth power. So applying the power property of exponents, this is equal to four, raised to the power of one-third times nine, or nine over one. Simplifying before multiplying, there's one, three, and three, and three, threes, and nine. Notice now the product is just one times three, which equals three, which means the given expression simplifies to four, raised to the power of three, or four cubed. Because the base is four, we can evaluate this. Four cubed equals four times four times four, which equals 64. Remember to evaluate four to the third by hand, we have three factors of four, which equals four times four times four. Multiplying from left to right, we get 64. I hope you found this helpful.